orange. I'm gonna Hustle cheers. <laughs> up and not have to go to work. Good morning. Good morning. It is Shay. She is back today with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a <laughs> soft life vlog. I'm just going to be taking you along with me as I try to, I guess, embody what I th believe soft life is to me. <laughs> well, I can speak English, I swear. Wait, can y'all hear me? Because this I, I should close this window, right? I'm not gonna close it, it's humid. Anyways, sorry about that. To me, soft life does not mean going on trips, spending money, getting broke. It means working, right? Getting through the hard part so I can enjoy the soft part. I worked hard my entire life. My entire life was just hard struggles, you know? And now I feel like I'm in the era where I can enjoy my time. Spend time with my friends, go out, be happy. You know, this is my pretty girl era. Today, I decided that I would like to go pottery painting. There's this place called Color Me Mine and they let you pick your own pottery piece and then you get to paint it. And then they put it in the oven for you. You come back a couple days later and it's a nice beautiful piece. And I've actually been there multiple times. I've actually made this little uh this little piece. It was so cute. Right now I'm in my kind of like aesthetic era you know and I really like these so I spent a bunch of time on Pinterest looking up different pottery painting ideas and I decided on this honeycomb design and I'm gonna show you my my pin board in a second I was waiting to, for a friend to go with me when their schedule cleared up any friend I just kept telling myself why if I want to go so badly just go right but the anxiety of going out with myself and just taking myself on a date and just spending time with myself that doesn't scare me I'm an introvert but it was more being out in public and having people see you being by yourself it was a little a little awkward because I feel like when people see you by yourself they want to talk to you they want to see what's going on you heard that someone stood you up or something no girl I'm just here by myself because I'm gonna spend time by myself leave me alone now I don't really remember how this is because I went a really long time ago but I'm pretty sure the stops like really friendly they leave you alone sometimes they have kids birthday parties obviously I'm gonna be a full-grown adult going it's for all ages <laughs> You know, I think I'm gonna have a really good time. And I thought today I could wake up. It is Saturday. It is almost, what time is it right now? 7.47 in the morning. I've been up since three because of anxiety. Oh. Oh, she got a rat. <laughs> yeah, I just decided to get pretty. I don't need to, to get pretty to go to work, so why not do it on the weekend? That's what I decided to do today. And then Sierra asked me if I'd like to go with her. It's a uh, Italian festival this week. So she's like, hey, do you want to go? And I'm like, okay, no problem. I'm going to be bringing a picnic blanket so we can sit down, enjoy the sun, the weather. It's going to be a fun time. And obviously I'm going to bring you guys along. Duh. It's so humid outside right now. Like, my hands are sweating. It's gonna rain today, but I'm wearing a white dress and I don't care. Okay, this is my makeup, my hair, my earrings, they're cute little butterflies, my outfit, it's a cute little sundress. You know, why, why do I gotta dress up to go somewhere to meet people? Like, I can dress up for myself, right? Just not makes me feel pretty. I feel like glowy. I want to take pictures. I, I feel good. Usually weekends I, f I wake up feeling super anxious, but today I felt great because I knew I had something planned for me that is not energy taking. You know, like it is going to be a nice relaxing activity. I'm going to be painting. I get to just spend time with myself and I'm trying to find more creative things to do that are free, obviously. Well, not sorry, not free, but like affordable. That's the word. <laughs> I'm trying to find more affordable things to do in the city. And I think this summer we are going to experiment with a bunch of things. So join me.
whoa. For somebody who got like very shitty sleep and who's been stressed out all week, my skin is glowing. Like what is going on? Look at that. What? Okay, girl. So I got my orange ginger turmeric shot. I thought this was very fitting for the video. Cheers, y'all. Mm. Wait. I gotta blow that out. I'm trying to spill this because it stains badly. Delicioso. Hi guys, I wanted to kind of walk you through how I took myself on a date and how I like planned some solo activities for me. Kind of wanted to give you some advice too if you're looking to take yourself out, like what to do, you know, how to be alone with yourself, how to be comfortable. Now, one thing that I really suffered with is I have anxiety, okay? So girl, your brain, my brain is overthinking constantly. I'm always thinking about what's this person thinking about me? Uh, if I'm out here by myself, do they think I'm lonely? Do they think I'm weird? It doesn't matter, girl. Do you, okay? Like this exact day, look at how anxious I am. I was so uncomfortable. How would I tell you I was the only person in this store? It was me and the owner literally okay and it was so embarrassing but she was so sweet um even when i came up to her she was like you can prepare oh yeah <laughs> me time <laughs> yeah, excellent uh we have stencils we have stamps wow uh, stencils and stamps uh, masking tape if you want to do straight lines although personally i never oh like what are you here for and i'm like to paint <laughs> like she was like oh why are you here alone you know like anyways uh after i got over that anxiety i kind of told myself i wanted this to be a nice quiet activity in order to do that i had to be by myself my normal creative activity is editing these youtube videos honestly to me it's art i love doing it even with my sore wrist man like from editing and just cramping up i still love it it's a passion i started youtube because it was a hobby so i'm trying to incorporate hobbies that aren't youtube right i'm trying to incorporate things that are more creative you know get those creative juices flowing where i can i can feel artistic now i'm not really like much of a painter but i would try and honestly painting clay like there's you, you honestly can't really mess up because you need to paint the clay like so you pick a piece that you like you paint the clay and then they put it in an oven bake it for you and then you pick it up a week later to be realistic kids can do this it is not difficult at all and i really suffer from perfectionism i need to be constantly perfect or my anxiety is telling me that i'm failing or it's like a an attack against my self-worth or something and that's something i'm trying to work on i'm really trying to let myself make mistakes and just it's it's human nature it's human nature to make mistakes and to learn from them and stuff like that and it, it's going to be a process and obviously i'm taking you along with me on that progress um but this is just something i want to start out with like you know I, I see a lot of girlies going out to like bars or like going out to movies and stuff like that and i know myself and that would have been a little bit too overwhelming for me specifically i wanted to start with something small so this little place was close to home it pretty much i could like just drive it's like a 10 minute drive from my house i can just sit down be relaxed i really 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 wanted to put on some like meditation music but i didn't want to bother anybody um when i first came in it was completely empty there was no music it was absolute silence it was a little bit awkward not gonna lie <laughs> struggling with my anxiety of thinking oh like these people think i'm here alone like you know they, they probably think i'm a loser blah, blah blah but actually they were in their own world they were con they were just concerned with their stuff a couple people came in a couple parties stuff like that i was just painting away and then actually at the end when i went to get up this lady actually uh comment complimented me and she was like oh my god you're so good i've been watching you and like you're doing a really really good job and i'm like oh like thank you people do notice you of course it's human nature to stare it's human nature to look you're, you're aware of your surroundings but they're not thinking what you think they're thinking now anxiety has a bad habit of making you think that everybody is talking bad about you or everybody is you know saying negative things about you. it's not true i don't want to show you just the glamorous and good parts 
about spending time with yourself. I specifically want to show you the bad, the good, <laughs> the ugly, right? So this is my first time taking myself on a date. I usually spend time with myself at home, you know, where no one's watching. But I am challenging myself and I challenge you as well to get out of your comfort zone, get out in public by yourself. I challenge you. Everyone who's watching this video right now, I am challenging you to go do something. It doesn't have to be clay painting. It can be going to a cafe, going to the bar, going to, a, you know, like a bookstore or something, anything like that. I challenge you. And then comment down below and tell me what you have in mind, what you plan on doing. I hope this helps. Bye guys. That's so pretty. Lots of water? Yeah, love my water. In a tequila glass. Uh -huh. So cute. <laughs> Imagine me pretend. This is tequila, guys. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.